When we began this process, uh, we followed the general assumption that building a hybrid or partially electric vehicle would be the answer to building the most efficient car. Um, in careful research, we came to think that by far the lowest hanging fruit was to just build the best platform. The most efficient platform, by definition, is the lightest, lowest aerodynamic drag platform. We quickly realized that lugging around hundreds of pounds of batteries was conflicting with that philosophy. And we have come to the conclusion that less is more. And this is an exercise in less is more. When you get into the aerodynamics of the car, um, the lower the drag, the less power it takes to move the car. This is especially true in longer distances in a suburban lifestyle like in America. For almost 100 years now, the car has been basically a rectangle. A rectangle engages any object that it collides with. By having a very different shape, a shape of a diamond, it's less likely to have a full engagement, but it's more likely to deflect away from whatever is, it is impacting or is, uh, whatever is colliding with it. Uh, from racing, we know that you can build very light cars that are extremely safe. It is common practice in racing uh, of cars crashing at many more than 100 mile per hour imp uh, incidents and people walking away from it. The way that is done is by using a lot of space around the car to mitigate the collision. Um, that is partially why the car looks different. What makes it special is that even if a company like Toyota or Volkswagen decided to do this, they might not get to the level of detail and to the efficiency of the solutions which we are now well engulfed in.